We're back in the uh, labyrinth. I we'll talk about this here in a second. Give me give me one minute here. Um, I did get to. Uh, I did get to 69. I, I ended up, I left the labyrinth. I I tried to fuse Harlot. I mean, I, I got a couple that I was kind of happy with, but not really. Um, so, what I ended up doing is, it was basically, it was actually a total waste of my time. So, um, we'll talk about this here real quick. So, yeah, it was a total waste of my time. I, I wasn't really 100% happy with any of the Harlots I ended up with. So, I just reloaded my save. I wasted like an hour trying to fuse a good harlot, and I wasn't happy with any of them. So, we're just back. We have Wukong. Um, I already did... Uh, hold on here. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I ran back through most of... I ran back through most of what we missed, or most of what we did yesterday. Um, I think all I need to do is get back to... I can't remember what I did so far. I think I need to get back through the stupid maze, basically. Oh, and there was a... I didn't realize there was a shady broker down there. I didn't explore a lot yesterday, so I did a little bit more exploring. There were some... There were some uh, cubes on the first part that had some money in them. So I got, like, 50,000 Maka, and... There was this Mothman, which has an amazing skill set that I'm going to try and maybe fuse onto something else later. Uh, so, yeah, this Mothman has pretty much everything, and I got him off the shady broker. In terms of spells. But, anyway... Um, so yeah, I guess we're gonna go back through. I need to run through the... Do I even need to run through the maze? Do I, do I, or can I just do the new moon and just go in? I don't even think I need to do the maze, right? There was nothing in there. So, can I just skip the maze and go right back in at the, at the new moon and just fight boss boy? Oh, I gotta remember to switch Magatamas, that's the other thing. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, we're gonna try and beat Belza boy again today, and hopefully do a little better, because we'll hopefully have the right Magatamas on. So, and then we'll see, we'll see how much we have left after that of the Labyrinth of Amala, I guess. I don't, uh, oops, I'm not even paying attention. I'm still horrible at this, probably never going to be good at it, so, just the, uh, just the usual in these stupid teleport tunnels. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I just try and avoid getting hit at all. I don't even bother trying to actually do anything in here because I just screwed up so bad every time. <laughs> I don't even know why. Um, this one's the worst. I get hit so many times in this one. I end up losing all my maka every time I come through this one. 80 maka. It's super sad. Okay, so yeah. Let's, uh. Let's get back in here. Uh, I think I need to recast a stoma. No, I already have a stoma. All right, so we're gonna get hurt a whole bunch running through here again. But yeah, so I went to. There were some rooms up here on the left that I didn't check out, and up here was the shady broker. I think that's really all we missed from last time. So I guess I'm just gonna go down and get through the. Ah, uh, this room is still super annoying. <laughs> this room is still super freaking annoying. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna go right for, um, we're just gonna go right for the boss, I guess. I just gotta remember to save, I'm gonna make sure I do a, uh, I'm gonna make sure I do a save state right outside of his door, so that if we do get bullshitted again, I can just reload from there. But I just gotta remember to not do it actually right before the fight, so I can't change anything, basically. And then we should be good. So, this should be the way, it's, I, I already did some poking around today. Uh... Because I wanted to finish, we were, our last save was at 68, so I had to get the last little bit of that level. So I was going to try and fuse Harlot, but it's just, I wasn't happy with it, so, I don't know. Uh, I don't freaking know. Hold on. So, yeah, this should be the way down, and then we need, oh wait, we're already at New Moon. Is it going to, is the Moon phase going to change by the time I get up to the thing? I don't know, maybe. We might have to redo the... Uh, we have to, to run through all the moon faces again and get back to new. I don't know if we're going to make it or not before the thing changes. Uh, okay. Uh, 
I can't remember, is Bolt Storm? Bolt Storm good here? Mm, it's okay. Uh, let's, do, let's try and Preach. I never really use Preach that much. Oh, okay, they're actually weak to that. There we go. I'll have to remember that. Preach is good on the Chimera, guys. Don't change, Moon. Okay, we made it. <laughs> Just, I, I can't imagine it's going to stay New Moon that much longer. Alright, so we're gonna get hurt a whole bunch again. Yeah, just barely made it. Let's see here. Oh, physical shield. Alright, well, you know what? We can just break all the physical shields of Wukong, because he's the boy's fist. There we go. So now none of them have a physical shield. Oh, but we just wasted all our turns. I forgot. Yep, totally forgot about that. I am a dummy. <laughs> I'm a big dummy. Uh, let's do Bolt Storm, and I guess we'll do Breach again. Ah, uh, that's right, we can press turns off these guys. Alright, there's one down. We should be able to get two more turns in, but I think we can still take this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, what Magatom do I have on right now? Oh, yeah, I learned, uh... Hey, Dan. How's it going? I learned, um... I don't even remember what I got rid of now. Oh, I swapped out Might for Avenge on brother so yeah we don't have might anymore we have event instead i don't know if that was a good choice or not i i did it anyway uh oh well okay we're gonna get hurt a whole bunch uh do i have to recast stoma no i already did all right i can't remember which way we went through here to um wasn't that way i can't remember which way we went through here oh there's the mothman so it was right up here i remember mothman so it was right by him Anyway, yeah, we're close, though. The door should be, like, right down. I think it's right there in front of me, if I remember this right. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so... This should be the boss boy door. Alright, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna heal everybody up again. And I'm going to... Okay, we're actually gonna save state... Whoops, I forgot no map. Uh, we're gonna save state here, just so if we do die to Belzebub again, we don't have to run all the way back. So, there we go. We are, oh, Magatama. Uh, all right. Null death? That's what I want, I think, right? Those stupid death flies. So I guess we'll do this one. I guess we'll do this one. All right, uh, hold on to your butts. We're gonna do this fight again. Yeah, this is it. Strong presence can be felt from behind the door. I guess I'll I guess I'll go through the dialogue again one more time. You stood the attacks of the fiends, and now you stand here before me. For this feat, I shall grant you audience. Come forward. We're gonna skip the dialogue after this. <laughs> Good luck, Dan says. Thank you. We'll see. I think I'm gonna. I think I can do it this time. Honestly, the only thing, the only thing that was screwing me over last time was the stupid. Uh, the stupid death flies. If it hadn't been for the death flies, I think we would have been fine. It would have taken a while, but we could have done it. Uh, I'm chief among those who fell from heaven. With the angel of darkness, I lead the demons of chaos. I'm Belzebub, ruler of death and warden of souls. Uh, so your brother, Lord Lucifer's favorite. I've heard about you. With the power given to you by Lord Lucifer, you are trying to create a new demon, correct? What, you didn't know? That's what the candelabra are for. When all the candelabra have been returned to their rightful places, a new demon of chaos will be born. I have no idea how he talked you into collecting them, but I've got to say, you're quite gullible. Remember this, brother. The demons of chaos are all waiting for that moment. The moment when the new demon is born and Lord Lucifer makes his final decision. The army of chaos will rise at Lord Lucifer's command. To bring about that glorious event, I would gladly assist you. But you must first demonstrate that you are worthy of my help. Okay, here we go, Flyboy. My true form is more suitable for this test. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> oh man, I, I hope this is gonna. I think we'll be okay today. Now, prove your strength to me. Unleash the demonic power given to you by Lord Lucifer. Hold on to your butts. Here we go. We're gonna try and beat Flyboy. All right. So if I remember right, I could actually, I could still do debuffs in the beginning. Which I think I'm still gonna do. I think I'm still gonna do some debuffs. We can at least do it for a little while. So I am gonna debuff him. I know, I know he does dig him to later, but they do at least work for a little bit. Let's do what we were doing yesterday. I think we were doing wind cutter. And then we were, uh. I guess Warcry? Yeah. So we're still gonna do the debuff strat. Now, let's begin. I hope you don't die too easily. And then, I don't know. I really think not, uh... I really think without the... Let's do another Raku. Um, I, I think without the, um... With the death immunity, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. It's gonna be a slow fight still, because apparently this guy has like 30-some thousand. Or not 30,000, like 15,000 health. So, it's still gonna be a slow... It's gonna be a slow fight. But... I think we'll be okay, so... It's definitely gonna be a slow fight, but whatever. Uh, we'll do another war cry, and then we'll start attacking next turn. For real, for real, we'll go all out on this dude. Nice dodge, okay. Uh, brutal, we're gonna focus. Nice crit. Um, yeah, we're gonna focus. And we're gonna do wind cutter. I'm actually gonna pass dice to you. I think I can pass dice to you, brother. Hey, Chrono. What's up? Uh, okay. I'm gonna pass Dice's turn. We don't really need him to do anything right now. We can do another Brutal, and then we can do a... Hustle. What's going on here? Oh, Chrono. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for that. Uh, okay. Wait, what am I on? Brutal Slash, and then we're already focused. We're gonna do a, um... Gonna do a Divine Shock. Just eating and chilling. No Taro Kaja equals hardcore mode. Yeah, I don't have Taro on anybody. I I did. I finally fixed my host alert. I uh, I guess I just wasn't ex I, I wasn't expecting anybody to ever host me this early on. So the only alert I ever really set up was the follower one. <laughs> so I, I did. I went through the other day when I was at work, and I fixed all my alerts so they didn't look retarded. Um, okay, another brutal. And we're going to focus. Yeah, I think the death immunity, I think we'll be good this time, honestly. I'm not I'm not too concerned about it this time. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leech MP. We'll heal next turn. I don't think he's gonna I don't think he's gonna be able to kill us yet. He's still pretty soft. Unless this is the turn where he decides he's gonna go ham. No, not yet, so we're good. So we'll heal this turn. Um Brutal. Yeah, I need to get Tarukaja on somebody and you know so this was the whole thing that's why I decided I, I ended up not going with the save where I fused harlot because I feel like at some point everyone said that there's gonna be way better demons coming up anyway so I did already focus right yeah um, I, so I felt like it wasn't worth it I felt like if I fuse harlot now I'm just gonna end up replacing her anyway so I figured we'll just roll with the squad we got and uh, We'll, we'll deal with it. We'll, we'll worry about like the end game squad hopefully soon here. Alright, now I'm gonna heal. Oh, is this gonna be the turn where he gets rid of all the buffs? No, not yet. Alright, uh, brutal. And focus. Wind cutter. I think I'm gonna pass Dice's turn again. We'll let Kong go again. I don't really think Dicer needs to do anything right now. Yeah. We'll, we'll stack the damage up while we can. Oh, man. We're getting really... We're doing great with these dodges and voids and stuff this time. He's barely even gotten to move at all yet. Brutal. We're already focused. Right? I kind of never remember. Yeah, I'm already focused. <laughs> Alright. Divine Shot. And... Cutter. I think I'm still gonna hold off on healing. 
I don't think Wukong's gonna get hurt that bad yet. Uh, I'm gonna do another Meditate. I don't know, I hope that wasn't a mistake. Oh, this is the turn where he gets rid of all his debuffs. Maybe that was a mistake. That was a good warm-up. My subordinates are getting restless, so let's start the real battle. Feel my power, Demi Fiend. And here go the, uh, here go the buffs. Alright, well, now we gotta heal this turn. He's gonna be all juiced up next time, so... Brutal. And... Oh, I should've done a Raku, actually. I should've done a Raku. Uh, focus. Actually, I'm gonna do a Warcry. I know he can cleanse it. I'm hoping he'll attack before he cleanses it. So I'm gonna do a war cry. What are you doing down there, Pumper? What's the matter with you? Uh, we'll do Wind Cutter and then we'll heal. Uh, yeah, let's see. yeah, I should have done a Raku, but I think the war cry might still work in our favor. Is he, is he gonna attack first? Uh, no, he cleansed the buffs first. Now he's gonna beat the shit out of us. Oh, that's a big boy hit. Uh, yeah, brother, get that counter all day. All right, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna still do some buffs. Even though he cleanses them, I feel like they're still useful. They're useful enough. I feel like. So we're still gonna do them. Uh, wind cutter. I guess we gotta heal again. His brother's like almost fucking dead already. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we gotta heal again. Here comes the fucking ability that killed me last time. Okay, but yeah, I mean that's not bad with a, that's not bad with the death immunity. It's really not bad at all. Um, not bad. And see, he didn't even cleanse our Raku. I'm gonna do one more Raku. And did we focus? Yeah. Sorry, I keep forgetting if I'm focused or not. <laughs> oh, that was big. Okay, that was a good crit. Um. Yeah, I really think without the, um... Uh, do I want to heal again? I guess so. I think with the death immunity, I don't think this will be too bad. I think, I mean, as long as I'm careful, I think we'll be alright. I'm gonna do another Raku. Worst case, I just waste one of his turns. And best case, he just doesn't get rid of my debuffs and this doesn't even hurt me that bad. Yeah, see, that's not bad. That only hits us for 70. And he didn't cleanse our debuffs, and we dodged. Okay, good. Um... Alright, now I'm gonna do a Brutal. Gotta start getting some damage on this boy. Am I I'm not? Okay. What you doing down there, The talk is like right underneath my right underneath my chair. Uh Wind Cutter. I think I'm just gonna do a I think I'm gonna do a meditate this turn. You finished the first palace. That's good. Uh it's gonna get way better after that. Like, the first palace is definitely... It's not even that it's bad, it's just... It's like I said yesterday, the pacing... The pacing in the beginning of Persona 5 is... Oh, shit. Well, whatever. <laughs> Slime Bar is a mini-boss, yeah. Um, yeah, the pacing in, in early Persona 5 is not great. But once you get to, like, second, third palace, it really picks up a lot, I think. So you'll, you'll probably have a lot of fun. Uh, okay, Brutal. Man, so now I gotta heal though this turn. I wanted to, and I don't have a lot of mana because my meditate missed, unfortunately. We're already focused, let's do divine. Oh, two big crits in a row, that was real nice. Alright, well we got suppressed turns to burn. Let's do wind cutter. Uh, alright, I'm gonna heal. I've gotta meditate next turn. I need to get more mana. I might even have to use an item maybe. Alright, let's do another Brutal. Oh, another crit, huh? Pretty good. Uh, Chrono, it took me... I would say 96 hours is a conservative estimate. Um, both of my both of my playthroughs were over 100 hours. I think the one was like 120 and the one was around 110. It's a pretty long game. So you're probably... You know what? I'm going to pass Red Riders. I'm going to meditate. Um, it's a pretty long game. God damn, why do you keep dodging that? Um, oh, there we go, there go, our, there go our buffs. I mean, for what it's worth, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like a long game. I mean, it, it goes by, it goes by quick. 
Uh, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna keep putting the Rakus up. I mean, we had like three turns in a row where he didn't cleanse our debuff, so I'm gonna stick with... I'm gonna stick with it. Oh, man. Alright, you know what? We're already focused. I need to give Daisu some MP, I think. Uh, you know, we'll be alright for one more turn. I think we'll manage. I mean, we have Endure, too, so we'll be alright. Let's just go. I wanna get some damage on this boy. Damn, another crit, huh? Good deal. Good deal, brother. Uh, holy shit, what is going on here? I guess we haven't had Fog Breath up in a while. Our accuracy is shit right now. It's, we've had, we're having way too many misses. Alright, this Meditate has gotta hit. There we go. Need that mana. Oh, okay, please don't kill brother. <laughs> please don't kill brother. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's do another Raku. That's it. He's not. He's not cleansing it every time. So I think we'll be okay. Uh, did I focus? I don't think so. No. Uh, okay. Wind cutter. And then we're gonna heal. Oh no. Oh no. That's bad. That might be it right there. We might die. Depending on what this ability is. Okay. We're gonna live. Just barely. Oh, that was a really. That was a really, really bad. Uh, that was a badly timed dodge on Flyboy's part. Oh, that was horrifying. Holy shit, that was horrifying. Oh my goodness. All right, uh, we gotta pass the dice and heal. This is getting ridiculous here. Holy shit. The misses. The misses are fucking killing me. Jesus. Yeah, the, the dice rolls are not going in my favor today at all. So we're going to have to heal again, like, right away, probably. Um, holy shit. Hey, Light. What's up? Oh, man. All right. I need to... Am I focused already? Yeah. I don't know if I want to attack this turn, though. We need MP. Uh, you know what? I'm going to heal... I'm just going to do it. I'm going to use a bead chain. And then I'm gonna, so that way Daisu can leech MP this turn. I just wanna play it real safe here. I don't wanna fucking die. I don't wanna die. Um, Alright, let's do a meditate. What's the matter with you, Pumper? What you doing over there? We're under there. What's the matter with you? Uh, okay, that was good. Waste some turns. Um, Alright. I'm gonna do one more Raku. And then we're gonna do our divine shot, and then we'll uh We gotta get some damage out here. The last couple turns we just been scrambling to stay alive. I'm gonna do meditate again. I hope Red Rider's gonna have enough MP to make it through this fight. It's running low. The dog wants to have camp time. Yeah, she's, she's, normally she either sleeps in the other room or she lays in her bed in here, but she's like directly at my feet today. Uh, Alright, brutal. And am I focused? Nope, okay. Guess we're gonna focus. Uh, wind cutter. Um, what do I want to do with Dice Juice's turn? I don't know what I want to do with this turn, honestly. Um, you know what? I'm going to do a Fog Breath. I hope that he won't cleanse. Yeah, see, there we go. It's, it seems to be pretty hit and miss when he cleanses the debuff, so it really seems like it's still worthwhile. Even though he has Dekajin Dekunda. I feel you're close to finishing this battle. I hope so. It feels like we've been doing this fight for a while already. <laughs> That'll help me hopefully hit a little more, now that we got his uh, agility debuffed a little. There's just been too many misses, it's been really, it's been really fucking me up here. Alright, I am gonna heal this turn. Well, so here's the deal with Harlot Light. I mean, I, I, I didn't know what to do. I, the thing is, I did fuse her. I actually fused her a couple different times, and I just, I wasn't happy with any of the fusions. I wasn't happy with any of them, and I felt like, I know everyone was saying yesterday, like, by the time we get to Trumpeter, 
there's going to be better demons than Trumpeter. So that's not that far away. So I think I'm just going to wait and see. We'll see what, what we want to do for like the really end game squad, I guess. Because I just, I wasn't happy with any of my Harlots that I ended up with. And I ended up, I ended up just going back. So I wasted like an hour fusing demons off camera. And I wasn't happy with any of them. So we just stuck with Wukong. Uh, brutal. We should be focused. Right? Let me double check. Nope, we're not focused. Bills above is really good. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely... I'm gonna... In before Daisuju is in the final battle. He probably is gonna be. We're gonna do a sacrifice fusion and make a super Daisu. <laughs> so, he, he's been he's been with us for a long time. He's been my number one boy, for sure. Alright, I think I'm gonna do a Meditate. Yeah, Daisu is the man. He is so good. <laughs> he's been the MVP for a long time. Give me a counter. Yeah! Oh, that's a big counter. Oh, did that counter just waste my focus, though? It probably did, huh? I mean, it still wasn't bad. It was a pretty good hit. Uh, Alright, Brutal. Let's crit. I guess we're gonna refocus. Yeah, the, the counter did waste my focus. Man, Red Rider's gonna be out of MP here pretty soon. Alright, um... Shiva... Vishnu, Bells of, Bells of Fly, Metatron. Um, Alright, let's do Rare. I think I'm going to heal. And, you know what? I'm going to let Brother go, since he's focused. Let's do a Divine Shot. Oh, nice crit. Uh, does anyone block Force? Yeah, Red Rider, my boy. Shiva and Vishnu. Yeah, I want to get some cool demons. So that's I figure we'll wait a little bit more. I'll I'll kind of get some ideas maybe from you guys what you want to see for the final party. We'll get some we'll get some really badass demons. Hopefully for the end of the game here. Oh man, how long is this fight? I feel like we've been doing this fight for like 15 minutes at least. <laughs> this feels super long. Beelzebub has to evolve to his fly form. Okay. Uh, Wind Cutter, man, Red Rider. Back, my dude. I'll do another meditate. I want to keep Daiso's MP high. You never know what's going to happen here. So, he has not been cleansing debuffs at all. Like, we, we used, uh... I put Fog Breath on him, and we have Raku up, and he has not been cleansing them. So it seems to be pretty hit and miss what the AI is going to do here. I use the Angels a lot in Persona 5. I think I had uh, I had Metatron, and I had Michael, and um, I can't remember who else I had. Oh, we're already focused. All right, come on, brother. Give me that big boy death shot, or divine shot. Take him down. Not yet. Jesus, this guy has so much health. He has so much fucking health. I feel like this fight is going to go on forever. Uh, I'm going to let Wukong go again. We'll do another brutal. Oh, that was good. That was real good. Uh, Alright, another brutal. Uh, am I focused? No. Okay. Uh, wow, this is going to be our last wind cutter. I'm going to have to get some mana on Red Rider next turn. Uh, I guess we'll heal. Everybody's getting low enough that I'd rather. I'd ra I want to stay as I want to stay as close to max as possible. Usually, late game bosses de Kunda de Kaja when you're at least plus or minus three. Oh, well, that's good to know. So if I kind of if I just keep him at, at minus two on both, then he probably won't do it. Interesting. Okay, yeah, because I just did one fog breath and he hasn't been cleansing it, and we have like one or two Rakus up and he hasn't gotten rid of them. So good to know. Uh, brutal slash. Uh, well, we'll just do a physical with Red Rider this turn. I'm already charged up. I want to do my Divine Shot. Oh, man, that sucks. I shouldn't even bother. <laughs> that was really fucking bad. <laughs> the fucking 95 damage. Yeah, he's not really hitting us too hard right now. Feeling okay still. 
Alright, I guess I better give Red Rider some MP back so I can still do some damage here. Uh, let's MP fully. Entire party, I don't need that. Um, uh, we'll just give him a drop. Hopefully this fight's not going to go on too much longer. But we'll see. I guess I'm going to heal again. Oh, wait. Okay. There we go. So, I mean, really, not that bad. The only thing was the, the freaking, the death flies were, were the only thing that were fucking me up yesterday. If I'd come into this fight the first time with death immunity, I would have been fine. It wouldn't even have been a big deal, I don't think. It was just the fucking, just the death flies, man. With no death immunity, this fight would be impossible, I think. But yeah, not bad. Just long, really long. That had to be at least 15 minute fight. Uh, still have no map. So... Uh, who has... Who's Meteorama? There we go. Alright. So, what? Forward now? I guess so. Let's see what's in store. Oh boy, we got lots of... Lots of chests here. Oh, strength and sense? That's nice. I like that. Get the loot. I'm gonna get all the loot. I'm definitely gonna use that strength and sense. Um... <laughs> six, 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 Maka. <laughs> and magic and sense. Well, whatever. Not so big on the magic and sense, but that's fine. We don't really need that, but whatever. Uh, okay. But so, is this a dead end? So, like, what... What am I doing here, exactly? Because this is just going to take me back, right? So, what was the purpose of this? Oh, the floor doesn't hurt me anymore. There's Dr. Dark. Uh, I don't need healed right now, Dr. Dark. Thanks, though. Thanks anyway, buddy. So, I guess we can explore more of this now, that the, the floor doesn't hurt us. I guess I should maybe go look around a little bit. There's a cube over here. Oh, uh, we got a death stone. Um, what else? Uh, not much. So wait, is that it? Uh, well, still no map. It's gonna drive me crazy not having a map. I think that's it, right? This was the this was the way back in. The Mothman's gone. Wait, oh uh, wait, did I go the wrong way? Change Magatama, Hama can kill you. Good idea. <laughs> uh, whoops. Oh my God, what am I doing? Uh, let's do Vimana again. Mothman was there, was he? I I must be just all confused then. Which way was he? Wait, this is a new door, isn't it? There's Mothman. Uh, you defeated our leader? Wow. Then you should look for the star key. It can unlock the golden doors. It's somewhere in this labyrinth where it used to be cursed. There's another demon who knows where it is. If you can get the star key, maybe you can make it to the bottom? Alright. Uh, so wait. Well, I don't think we went in this door last time. I think this is new, right? Uh, no. So wait. Oh, man. Alright, hold on here. I can't remember which one I came in from. I, was it... Oh, this one's a dead end, so... You have to find the 250,000 Maka Demon. Uh, the one on the second Kalpa? Okay. I think I remember where he is. Um, it's been a little while, but I think I remember. I guess is this a way back then? Alright, well I guess let's go up to the second Kalpa. <laughs> what you doing down there, Poppers? Alright, let's see here. Yes, this should be a way back. Uh okay. Yeah, we saw all this yesterday. I guess I can just run back. It's not that far. You guys were electricity, right? I 
think so. Yeah, I know we can. I know we can use them. It's just that I really don't think we need the heals right now. Um, well, let's try to preach on these guys. Not quite. Come on, we've gone. Nice. Okay. The thing is, like, so we already we already filled up most of our MP just running around, and I have I have heals still, so I didn't want to bother with Doctor Dark. So let's go back to the second Kalpa, I guess. We need to find the star key. Um, let's see. I remember I did find out that the Chimera guys debilitate, huh? The Chimera guys are weak to Preach, I found out. Um, so... I do at least know one of the weaknesses for these guys now. Let's do a wind cutter on Geary, and then hopefully we can finish him off. Uh, not quite. Oh, we charmed one. Oh, well, we have another press turn. There we go. Oh, still not dead, huh? Chimera's <laughs> acting strange. See ya. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not far from, I'm not really far at all from the way back, so the fourth Kalpa ultimately really is pretty small. There's not really much here. Oh, so this, so all the hurt floors are no longer hurt floors, huh? I wish I would have known that before. I went and explored this part today since I didn't do it yesterday. And I found some stuff, but it was, it, that whole section over here was a hurty floor. And it was annoying as shit. So, I wish I would have known. I would have just waited until I, I got rid of the hurt floors and I would have just done it again. All right, let's go back to the entrance. Everybody gets to watch me suck at the stupid mini game again. Damn tunnel game. This one, there's not even that much maca in this one. This one's just like obstacles nonstop, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, it's all... There's, there's not even that many coins. All the cursed floors in the entire labyrinth are gone. Okay. Oops. I was gonna try and actually punch some, but I'm still horrible at this. Oh, my God. Oh, there's one. I got one. Uh... So there's no curse floors left at all. I see. Okay, 120 maka. Pretty shitty. So we need to go down to the third, second kalpa. So that should be this guy. And then we'll. Uh, yeah, I, I vaguely remember how to get down there. I'm pretty sure I remember how to get down there. It's been it's been a while, but. Pretty sure I remember. Oh man. Oh, got an item. I can actually hold on to him. All right, that one actually went. That one went pretty well. That wasn't too bad. 300 maka, a dis stun, and a dis charm. All right, whatever. Okay, so if I remember this one right, I think it was in like the upper left corner down here once we get down to the second floor, or the second basement I should say, whatever, whatever you want to call it, first basement. I think it's this upper left door. I think that was the one that got us to, this entire last section is just ridiculous. Ridiculous how? Like, is there going to be some more crazy boss fights, or what? Uh, okay. So wait, where am I going here? I need to go in this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember where this is. It's 
It's been a while since we were in the, the second Kalpa, so... It's, it, it, I just need to refresh my memory a little bit. And then it should be the middle door. I think this is the one that puts me down in the cursed area. I hope so. Yeah, this is it. I'm almost positive. The curse has been undone. Yep, this is it. You can go now. Alright. This is it. Oh yeah, I remember this fucking room. Here it is. It's extremely convoluted. I see. Uh, that's good. I love convoluted. Um... Nice crit. Uh, let's do Bolt Storm. I don't know. I don't remember what these guys. Let me try. Let's try Preach too. I really feel like I haven't got. I really haven't used Preach that much. But it's actually pretty decent. Um, I definitely should make more use of it on Daisu. Zaka leveled up. Whatever. All right. So yeah, we got to run back through this whole freaking thing again. At least it doesn't hurt us now. We just got to run through it. <laughs> Not quite as bad. So... That's the troll door, this is a good door. And... This should be... It. There we go. Okay. So this should be where the 250,000 Maka Boy was. I don't need to recast your pal. Alright. Yep, that's our boy. Alright, I'll tell you something you might want to know. My drinking buddy is somewhere up in Tokyo having a drink. He's got the key that opens the golden doors. That's it? I'll tell you something you might want to know. My drinking buddy is somewhere up in Tokyo having a drink. He's got the key that opens the golden doors. Alright, fair enough. Um, I have to go to Ginza and talk to Loki at Nix's bar. Okay. I mean, my what I was, my thought was basically to go check all of the cities and just poke around. But yeah, that would have taken a while. Okay, and then down this way. I have to go to Ginza and talk to Loki at Nix's bar. Weird. How do they expect you to figure this out on your own, I guess? <laughs> uh, holy shit. I mean, it would have taken me a while, but if I had just stumbled around in all the towns long enough, I guess I would have ran into him eventually. But yeah, that is pretty convoluted, I would say. Oh, wait, is this the right way? No. This way. So, did I get the afterlife bell yet? Uh, no. No, I didn't. Was that the one? Um, wait, did I go the wrong way again? I think I did. That was the thing for the maze. I, I didn't go back into the maze. I just went straight back to, uh, I just went straight back to the boss fight. Do I need to do the bell thing? Like, is there something important that I need to actually get with the bell? Because if not, I might just skip it. I mean, if it's like something super cool and you guys want me to do it, then I'll do it. But like, if I get the afterlife bell and I get like 50,000 maka or something, then uh, I'm probably not gonna bother. Just because, so wait, is this one of those? No, that's just a regular door. That's one of the key doors, but we already have that key. All right, so now we gotta go to Ginza. Well, I guess we're going to Ginza. Let's, uh... And so my... My assumption here is gonna be... Now, last night... I can't remember where, but somewhere in the fourth couple, we talked to one of the souls, and they said something about... 
uh, coming down from one of the other culpas, but was that what they meant with the second one then? Uh, where am I? Oh, I need to go back up. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like this game gives a lot of vague hints and not much else sometimes. Sometimes where you should be going and doing is not necessarily clear right away. Uh, it's definitely more that old school style of RPG storytelling. Versus the, the more, you know, the, the node on your map telling you exactly where to go type storytelling. You know, there's no, there's no Skyrim quest markers. This is still better hints than SMT1, you're saying, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's no, it's no mini-map quest markers or anything. That's for sure. Okay, so we're gonna go to Ginza. Let's, uh, let's go to Ginza. That's why, that's why I'm a little torn on trying to play some of the classic SMT games, like... I feel like those could not have aged very well, in terms of, like, quality of life stuff and difficulty. Um, I mean, just in general, SNES RPGs were kind of rough in terms of what you were... See, so these were the two saves where I fused Harlot. You can see they have a, they have a higher play time than my, than my original save. But I ended up just reloading my other one, because I wasn't happy with either Harlot, so... We'll, we'll figure out what we're going to do about our demons later. Uh, let me overwrite some of these so I don't accidentally try and load them later. Because <laughs> I will, if I'm not careful. Yeah, I wouldn't mind checking out the classic SMTs. I'm just not sure... Uh, I'm not sure how fun they would be without any nostalgia for them. Like, if you played them a long time ago and you already kind of liked them, I could see being into them still. I just don't know if they would be that fun for me now, as someone who's just getting into the main series. So I'm a little torn on doing that. We might check them out someday once I finish all the PS2 games at the very least. All right, so we gotta talk to Loki again, huh? Oh, you again. What, the star key? <laughs> it's in my stomach as liquor, of course. Yeah, of course, that, that makes perfect sense. I sold it to a curious mannequin. I needed the money since my room was raided. Know what I mean? <laughs> uh, okay, well, so mannequin, I'm assuming the mannequin, they mean the collector boy? Yes, no? Okay, okay, good. At least I was on the right track there. All right, well, let's go to Asakusa and see Collector Boy. All right, let's, uh, Asakusa. You still down there, Pupper? What you doing? So let's go see our Collector Buddy, I guess. <laughs> but then, so do we finally get the key after this? Or are we finally, uh... I think we finally move on. Where are you going? All right. What you do there, pups? Oh my goodness. Uh, let me recast. Let me recast uh, Repel. What's the matter, Sid? Go lay down. Yes, then more obscure puzzles. <laughs> okay. That's good. Uh... Wait. Oh. Okay. I got this from a demon for 60 maca the other day. 60 maca is always sold a key for, huh? It's called the star key. But I'm not interested in it. I'm only interested in man-made items. So I'll give it to you if you'd like. Uh, yeah. We want that. Okay. Here you go. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your shopping. Thanks, mannequin. Okay, so back to the labyrinth. Would it be quicker to just go this way and warp? 
maybe. Probably. So I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to the labyrinth unless someone tells me otherwise. Third Kalva. Okay. Uh, you guys are all physical immune. I remember that. Uh, bolt storm. Maybe preach. Oh, fuck. They're not dead yet. Um, well, guess we gotta give them a turn. Bolt storm. So we're going to the third Kalpa. Weird. Uh, okay. Remember the gold door you saw but couldn't find the key to before the Dante chase? Um... Oh, uh, was that down... Was that down where... Uh, not Black Frost. Was that where Jack Frost was? Because I think I, I may vaguely remember that. So, is that what... Um, okay, so there was someone... It's like, I can't remember exactly what it was, but someone in the fourth call but yesterday, one of the souls we talked to, I think it might have been down on that dead end, said something about coming down from one of the higher floors, I thought. So I guess that's what they meant. So I guess it's kind of a hint. I don't know if I would have picked up on that on my own. Uh, but okay. <laughs> I'm gonna overwrite both of these so I don't accidentally load them. Alright. So we're gonna go to the third culpa and back down to the room before the Dante fight. Okay. Well, that's where we're headed then. I just gotta remember, I gotta remember which, uh, oh, okay, I can go right through the luck door, I think, to get down to the Dante room. Pretty sure. I had enough luck to open that middle door last time, and I think that had a ladder that took me right down. Because we, we just ran back through there last night, I'm pretty sure that was what it was. Oops, missing all the, missing all the, co the coinage here. Uh, hey, 60, what's up? It's, uh, it's been a while. I don't think I've seen you in here in a couple days. How you doing? Oh boy. Ho oh, ho, what am I doing? I, I panicked. I just froze up there for a second. I just started mashing circle. Oh gosh, now everything's hitting me. Get that Maka. I'm so bad at this mini game. Uh. Cool. Oh, hey Rigged, how's it going? Um. Okay, how am I doing health-wise after getting hit the whole time? So, down to the room before Dante, which should hopefully just be... I think I remember the way. <laughs> 30 FPS. <laughs> uh, okay. He can get himself a new monitor, rename himself to 144 FPS. Test my luck. Go ahead. My luck is worthy of praise. And then middle door, and then should be right down to the room. If I, I hope you and I are both thinking of the right of the same room light. Uh, I hope I'm going to the place that you're that you're thinking about. We'll see here. So then it should be down just straight through I think right oh I never went through this door last time what is in this door oh there's Loki what's up Loki uh, maybe I'll try and maybe I'll try and murder you what a coincidence we just talked to him in, in Ginza and here he is uh, does preach work on you works not very well Got some Kaiwans. No, I haven't changed my party at all. Um, so I, I talked about 
I, I did I did take time off camera today. I fused Harlot. I actually fused Harlot twice. I just I wasn't happy with either one. Glory be to the demon who walks the path untouched by both light and darkness. Wait. What? I didn't go this way before. I recently got a hold of this rare item, but no one seems to understand its value. How about you? Would you be interested in buying it? This stone called a death stone is supposed to bring death to you. Why would I pay 100,000 maka for a death stone? No thanks, my dude. See ya. But yeah, anyway, so I, I did. I fused Harlot. I just, I wasn't happy with the Harlot that I fused. And, uh... So I, I basically I threw out all the, all the changes I made. I just went back to my, to my save, and then we just kept going with the party we had. So, wait. Am I in the right spot? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. There we go, I think this is it. I am still gonna change the party. I just don't know... I don't know what I'm gonna change the party to yet. So... Okay, I guess I'm going down. Get to play the game again, I guess. Obscure puzzle's done now. Okay, that's, that's good. So... Oh man, they're getting smaller. The little boys. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm getting hit so much. Holy shit. Uh, okay. Oh boy, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, I want to get that Maka, but I'm scared to go up there. <laughs> um. Attack mirror. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we, we are going to change the party at some point. I, I absolutely want to change the party. I just don't know what I want to change the party to. Uh, I, I don't know. I still think I... Like, Trumpeter seems like... Oh. Oh. So this puts us on the other side of this wall where the, the twins were that would teleport us out if we, if we drank their juice. Okay. And what does the switch do exactly then? Oh, that's gonna. There was a. There was a door there, right on the other side. Okay, so we got to go back down. Yeah, there it is. So we're gonna have to go back to the fourth culpa and then go back down here and then through there. Ooh. Okay. Man, I wish. Uh, I wish Nocturne had like gohos like in Persona, so I could just. I. I could just use an item and teleport back to the entrance. <laughs> There's a lot of backtracking sometimes. Oh, I missed the item. I'm missing lots of the maca. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna try and not get hit by everything. Oh, we got some maca. Oh, that's it. Okay, at least this one's short. So, I don't know if it would be quicker to just go down from here? Versus running all the way back? I feel like it honestly might be. I guess I'm just gonna run back from here. Because I feel like by the time I get all the way back up to the entrance and then take the the, take the things back and forth. It might just take longer. So I guess we'll just run back down through the third to get back to the fourth. And then I guess we... Oh, we need to recast our repel. Uh, and then I guess we'll go check out that door we just opened. <laughs> and we'll see what it, where it takes us. Okay, I just gotta remember where I'm going here. It's been a... It's been a while. Since we... Well, not really. I just went through here yesterday. Just, I, I forgot already. <laughs> it hasn't really been a while. I have no excuse for not remembering how to get through here. We just backtracked through here last night to get to the fourth, so... Okay, this should be the way down. I think. Yeah, there we go. We're getting there. Slowly, but somewhat steadily. 
And then just straight down, right? Yeah, straight down. Okay. And we'll just go down to the door. Okay, straight through. And then, so we just have what? We have one Kalpa left, and then we're finished with the Labyrinth of Amala. And then I guess all we have left is the final dungeon? I think we're definitely going to finish Nocturne this weekend. Um, and then it's going to be time for DDS, I guess. I'm going to be kind of sad when Nocturne's over. I, uh, I've really been enjoying it. I really had a lot of fun with this. Alright, so back down to the fourth Kalpa, and then we can go down and get the door and see what the hell. Let's see what we opened up. Oh, man. That is, that is a lot of backtracking. Like, I, I mean, I, I don't know if I ever would have figured that out on my own, truthfully. Uh, like, I mean, so when you guys played Nocturne, did you figure that out on your own, or did you guys use a guide for that? Because some of that, I mean, some of those hints are pretty vague in terms of what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It would have taken me a while to figure that out on my own, probably, if I, if ever, I should say. I don't know if I would ever figure it out. Um, oh. fucking god. Okay. Well, that makes me feel better. As long as I know I'm not the only one. Uh, as long as I know I'm not the only one who's too dumb to figure that out. <laughs> so... Because, yeah, I mean, that seems, like, fucking impossible. Like, I don't know how the hell you would ever figure that out on your own. That's a lot of... That's a lot of puzzle bullshit. Alright, so we're back at the fourth. Now we just gotta get down... I used time eight years ago. Alright, so now we just gotta get back down to that room. Which I think was just right down the ladder, and then we had to go... When did we go through? It was, like, seven-eighths moon, I think? To get through that part? I can't remember. I think it was like 7 8 Moon. Uh, okay. Let's do a Wind Cutter. I'm gonna do a prayer. Or a Preach, not a prayer. Hopefully it's gonna kill them both. There we go. Yeah, I gotta remember what... Uh, oh, we're gonna be almost level 70. So it should be, I think it was down the ladder, and then... I just gotta remember what phase of the moon. I think it was six or seven. Or no, I think six was the... Six was the fucking maze. Six was the maze, new moon was... The way to the boss, and then... Oh, nice crit. Um, and then, I think seven-eighths was the, the way down there. The dead-end way, if I remember right. Uh, I think Bolt Storm. We should be able to get a press turn. Yeah, there we go. And then this guy's weak to Breach. There we go. He's still not dead. Oh, we charmed him. <laughs> there we go. Now they're all dead. Oh, there we go. Level 70. Uh, what do I want to do points wise here? I think I'm going to do. Let's do a point in Vitality. I feel like we haven't done Vitality in a little while. And then we're going to head down. So I'm going to have to count the moon phase all the way back up, unfortunately. Yeah. So I need to get it back up to like 7, I think. I'm pretty sure it was 7 for the dead end. So we might have to get in a fight or two here while we run around like idiots waiting for the moon phase to go up. Let's see. We gotta, holy shit, this is gonna be really annoying. We gotta count the moon up seven fucking phases. This is gonna be really annoying. Uh, bolt storm. Oh, we got a shock. Um, I'm still gonna do preach. That'll give me a press turn. And then, well, actually, Wukong will get uh, Wukong will get a press turn for sure. Oh wait, so that overwrote the shock, I guess. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Alright, so we gotta keep counting this boy up. I hope it was seven. I hope I'm remembering this right. Four, five, six, 
four. This is normal mode, Rizardi. Uh, this is my this is my first time playing Nocturne, so I I, I don't hate myself enough to play Nocturne blind on hard. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is this is normal. Okay, and then we should be able to just rush this boy, right? Yeah, there we go. All right, a few more moon phases, we can get through this fucking portal. I hope I'm remembering the moon phases right. I wouldn't either. I played on normal mode as well and struggled back when I first played it. Uh, yeah, I struggled a little bit here and there. I mean, this game is pretty hard. I mean, I'm at the point now, I feel like I have a pretty good grasp on the game's mechanics. But early on, like the first five or so hours of this game, basically the entire game up until Ikabukuro kind of kicked my ass. Uh, I think it was seven. The whole game up until Ikabukuro kind of kicked my ass. I feel like Ikabukuro was kind of the turning point. I hope this was the right one. Yeah, this is it. I'm almost positive this is it. And then it was down here. And then where did I go from here? I can't remember which way I went from here, but I'm, I'm almost positive we're in the right place. Get out of here with the counter bullshit. Uh, Bolt Storm, and we'll do a breach. Hopefully kill these boys. Oh, okay. Well, don't do preach on these guys. <laughs> don't do preach on these guys. Because that just wastes all my turns. Did I get the star key yet? Uh, we Yeah, we got the star key. We got the star key and we went up and hit the switch. And so now we're just going back down. Now we gotta go through that door that the star key opened. I can't remember which way. I think it was this way to get down that. Yeah, because then there was that other hole in the wall. Pretty sure this was it. I'm like 90% sure this is it. Uh, no, this is a burial chamber. Okay, I guess it's the other way. Wait, what? Uh, did I just troll myself? Shit, I might have. I don't know, I'm still good. Okay, it must be the other way. Uh, it must be the other way. Alright, so I know Legion, I think Legion and Rakshasa are both weak to Boltstorm. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's do, wait, no, nope, no breach. I almost did it again, I almost trolled myself. <laughs> I almost trolled myself. Fuck. So, so good to turn. Alright, let's just rush this boy. Ah, uh, there we go. Let's counter, brother. <laughs> what are you doing over there, pupper? Okay, I need to heal my poison. And we might as well just heal up a little bit. We'll just do a media. Uh, okay, so I guess it's the other way. God, I hate not having a map in here. It's really... It's really annoying. Because it, then I have to go entirely off of my recollection, and it's not good. Wait, where the hell... Where the hell is it? Where the hell is it? Is it through that portal? Down at the end here? I really cannot remember. I can't fucking remember how to get down there. Um, I can't fucking remember how to get down there. Hold on. I think it's through that portal at the end, maybe. Alright, let's do Bolt Storm. Go through the portal. OMG, Scoots. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Just had to refresh my memory a little. What's the worst that could happen? I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'm, I'm pretty sure that is the right way. I just, uh, this place is a fucking maze for sure. So I think we want to go back through here and then go through the portal at the end. Wait, no. What the hell am I doing? I'm really lost here. I, I just trolled myself again. Let me go back through the portal, I guess. Uh, oh, maybe it was this portal. I think it was this portal. I think this was it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. Okay. All right, we're, we're back on the right track here. Everybody's probably laughing at me. Uh, <laughs> but we're good. We're good. 
Okay, so... Uh, have we fought these guys before? I feel like maybe we have not? I don't remember. Oh, uh, well there's... I guess that's... is that the same next from the bar in Ginza? Uh, Bullstorm? I don't know. I don't think we fought these guys. And I'm gonna try... I guess we'll try Preach. See how that does. Okay, that works alright. Oh, we charmed one too. And I think now we can probably just rush. There we go. Alright. So the, the door should be like right around this corner. Unless I totally did this wrong, but I'm pretty sure I got it. Yep. There would be our door and our switch, and here is the door we just opened. Okay. Now we're finally making forward progress. I guess we should probably watch the cutscene. Let's see what they have to tell us. So I guess that's the end of this one. The end of the fourth Kalpa. And then we just got number five. Let's see what the what the dude in the chair and the lady have to say to us, and then we'll move on. I was, really, I was expecting the game to be longer, I guess, just because I didn't realize that you didn't need any candelabrum for the fifth Kalpa. Once you guys told me that Trumpeter was the last fiend, I kind of realized that we were getting close to the end. Like, I was under the assumption that we'd still have to fight, like, five or six more fiends, or, like, three or four more fiends to get into the fifth Kalpa. So I was expecting there to be some more game left, but I didn't realize we were getting as close as we were. Uh, okay, at last, you have restored all of the candelabra to their rightful places. I promised earlier that I would answer all of your questions, sparing no detail. It may have occurred to you that the candelabra were not, in fact, stolen. In truth, my master gave them to those whom he deemed worthy. I must apologize for not being honest with you, but there is a reason. So we got played, basically. Played us like a damn fiddle. If you listen to what I have to say, I am sure you will understand. The forces of light and darkness have fought throughout the universe, even beyond the flow of time. Their battles have affected every living being in existence. Demons and humans are no exception. They have simply been cogwheels in the infernal machine called war. And the war still rages on, even as we speak. However, one individual vowed to put an end to this eternal war. He decided to create a demon of chaos, one that would inherit his will. And enter the final battle against the forces of light. <laughs> okay. There's all our demon buddies. Oh, and there's our buddy Dante. The fiends were prepared for the creation of that demon. He believed that by challenging and overcoming death, the demon would become the fruit of destruction, the black hope that we had waited for so long. That is what he and my master planned. The fiends and the labyrinth of Amala were ordeals meant to test you. One fiend challenged you, unaware of the truth. I'm guessing they mean Dante? Well, another fiend fell to you, dreaming of a future of chaos. Yes, this was all in preparation for the final battle. You vanquished all of the fiends, and now you stand here, just as he hoped. <laughs> Everybody's brains are blowing up in chat. A demon with the strength to become the champion of chaos. Brother, will you lend your strength to us, for the sake of all who live in darkness? I cannot force you to help us. If you choose to walk the path of a human, then there is no need for you to return here. But if you have doubts about the laws of the universe, about fate, or the providence of the Absolute One, then you should come to us at the very bottom of the labyrinth. There you shall be born again as a full demon body and soul. Let me conclude by telling you about a human who has crossed your path. One who is drifting, being kept alive by fate. It is my master's wish that you listen before deciding upon a path to take. Uh, so wait, is Takayo still alive? Are they talking about Takayo? Oh, no, that's Sajiri. Okay, the man I am referring to was known as Hajiri in your previous world. He died, but as fate would have it, he carried on in the Vortex world. Think back to when you first met him, to when the conception occurred. Yes, he did lose his life like all the others. Wait, what? So Hajiri died? 
As he was heading to the hospital where you already were, the conception began and his life ended. So Hajiri was Hajiri was dead? And he got, like, revived, or what? Did it not seem odd to you? It does seem odd to me now. That he was in the Vortex world unaffected and unchanged? What the fuck? It was all because of the mortal sin which he committed. He was being toyed with by fate. Condemned to carry the burden of atonement forever. His punishment was to see with his own eyes all that happens in the world. To record the balance of events through all the ages. A task as endless as scooping water out of the sea with a cup. <laughs> he was condemned to wander the infinite span of time. A man can change the course of his next life by his karma. But that privilege was taken away from Hajiri. Though his body may perish, his soul will remain unsaved. He must continue on with his task. He lives a cursed eternal life, just like a demon. Watch and record the history of the world. Witness the entirety of the endless war between order and chaos. That is your punishment for your unforgivable sin. Do you understand now? By the will of Amala, he was given a life of torment. Damn, Jiri. Jiri had a rough, a rough hand dealt to him here. Emerged in the, vert the vortex world without realizing that he had died. Wow. Soon after, your paths crossed again. That is probably because you have the potential to affect the course of the new world. So by accompanying you, he was unknowingly he has unknowingly been fulfilling his destiny. Tragically, he has no memory of his sin, his punishment, or even his death. He believes that he survived the conception and has acted accordingly. As for the result of his efforts, you already know the outcome. In the body of a mannequin, Hajiri challenged those vying for creation. And he lost his body once again. Wow, this is fucking crazy. Uh, alright. Holy shit. There's a lot going on here. He is now on a journey to a new land of suffering. Damn, poor Hajiri. But his will can never be freed and his sin never redeemed. Do you want your life to be predestined as well, or would you rather choose your own actions? You can never oppose Yahweh. If you do not wish to be ruled by destiny, if you would prefer to walk with demons on a new, untrodden path, then please come visit my master. You can open the door ahead with the candelabrum I gave you. Will you come meet my master? Uh, sure. Then we will be waiting in the deepest part of the labyrinth. I will open the way to the last door. Please use the candelabrum and come see us. We look forward to seeing you soon. Until then... Okay, so we're gonna be... we're gonna become a, a demon lord. Extra thick demon boy. Demi Fiend gonna get swole? Alright, so. I guess we're going down. Last Kalpa. Last freaking Kalpa. Let's, uh, let's head through the whack ass portal. Get hit a whole bunch of times, probably. True demon ending boys. <laughs> Hashtag save state. Should I have save stated for real? Uh, why are the coins going faster than I am? Oh god, this one is a fucking disaster. Jesus. What is even going on here? Holy shit, this is fucking absurd. Oh my god. Oh, this is awful. This is fucking awful. Uh, <laughs> this is fucking- Oh my god! They're just beating the shit out of me now. Jesus. All my health's probably gone. 72 Maka we got. Good job, guys. Or I guess good job me, I should say. Alright. Fifth Kalpa. This is it, my dudes. It's, it's been a long time getting to this point. Uh, let me see how much health I have. Uh, I didn't do horrible. Uh, let's bust this bad boy open. There's a huge pedestal. Will you light the candelabrum of sovereignty? You lit the candelabrum. 
I, I think I'm going to go back up to the surface and save somewhere before we go any further in here, just to make sure that nothing else bad happens to me. So <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to run back up real fast, and then. Uh, Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna go back up and save real quick. The first room is safe. Well, too late. I'm already headed up. I always forget there's like a delay on what I see versus what you guys are currently seeing. Uh. Oh, I missed the item again. Son of a bitch. Oh man, I'm so bad at this. Uh... Oh, son of a bitch. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. See you, money. Save for your life. Ah, where, who is Jack Frost emote? That's sweet. Don't lose all your maca. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, let's save. Let's definitely save. Oh, you know what? I should probably actually go back to... I should probably run back and heal up my my uh, heal, heal boys in the backup party real quick. Let me do that real fast. Because Gog Magog and Teoti are both, like, empty, and then I'll save my items. Uh, okay, let's overwrite that one. And I'm gonna warp back to Asakusa really fast, and we'll we'll heal everybody up, and then we'll uh, we'll go check out Kalpa number five. Okay, uh, sit tight for one second. I'll be right back. You can watch the warp cutscene. Everybody, let's get everybody healed up. We'll go check out the last freaking Kalpa, I guess. How much money? We're doing pretty good on money. I'm hoping we're gonna we're gonna have all this cash. And we can we can spend it on some really good fusions near the end here. Uh, that's the plan. I'll have to start looking in terms of what I want to do for the final squad. Because, I mean, if all we have left is the final dungeon, I want to get some badass boys before we head in there. Okay, let's do another save here, just so we don't have to do that again if we die or whatever. And then back down to number five. Hold on to your butts. Man, I have to play the damn game again. <laughs> I'm looking forward to being done just so I never have to go through these stupid tunnels ever again. Uh, <laughs> I never really got any better at these. I kept thinking like the, the more time we spent in the labyrinth, I would I would get better at these, but uh, it never really happened. I want that item. Where's that item at? There it is. I got it this time. I'm probably going to lose it, though. I guarantee you I'm going to get hit at least two times. Uh, more like 20 times. Oh, there it is. See ya. There, go there goes the item. We'll never figure out what it is now. Uh, I'm really trying to concentrate, and it's still not helping. <laughs> uh, it's still not helping. Alright, whatever. Yeah, I guess we have the fifth Kalpa and the final dungeon. Obtain Beat of Life. Okay. 
Okay. So let's do it, my dudes. Let's see. Here we are. Our goals are the same, just as I suspected. Did you already get Masakados? Uh, no. I don't know. Our goals are the same, just as I suspected. You know, I have to admit, you've got guts. I'm impressed that you made it this far. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Do I really have to fight fucking Dante again? Come on. I already beat this guy like three goddamn times. <laughs> He's not gonna chase me anymore, is he? Ah, oh, shit, it's gonna get a lot more dangerous from here. You think you're playing with fire? You're gonna get more than just burned. That's why I wanna offer my services to you? A demon hiring a demon slayer. It's the joke of the century, don't you think? What? So how about it? Okay. So... Uh... Do I want to hire Dante? You can get Masakatas when you get all Magatamas, but you need to go to last dungeon first. Okay. Uh, Alright. How... Oh, man. Well, so, how... I guess before I decide, we have, like, 350,000 Maka. How much money does he want? Does he want money? I mean, he said hire. So I'm guessing we have to give him something. Uh, like, is he worth it? What does he want and is he worth it? Those are my questions. Um, all right. All right, then. Let's talk business. I usually charge an outrageous amount of money. But in this case, I'll make an exception. Let's flip a coin. Heads or tails? If you win, just give me a dollar. Oh yeah, it's Maka here, isn't it? Give me one Maka then. But if you lose, you have to give me half of what you've got? Damn, that's like fucking, that's like 180,000 Maka. Call it heads or tails. Uh Okay, I'm going to ask you guys, I'm going to ask for a, I'm going to ask for a spoiler and just tell me because I'm guessing I need to pick I mean, I'm sure there's a right answer. I don't want to waste half of my money. I definitely don't want to waste half of my money. I need that to fuse demons. So, can someone spoil this part for me? Heads, thank you. Okay. Heads it is, you lucky kid. Okay, you get the special discount price of one maca. Brother paid one maca to Dante. Thank you very much. Starting today, I work for you. So what's your name? My name is Brother. Brother. Brother introduced himself to Dante. I see. Not a bad name. Okay, brother. Shall we go pay visit to the ruler of hell? The servant's heads will make nice souvenirs. Alright. The final battle between demons and the army of God. This will be interesting. Okay. Wait. Okay, so the thing about Dante is that he's good for now. He's good for now, but... I'm sh so there's a catch here. But he will never leave your roster, and he can't be... Wait, wait, wait. He will never leave your roster? Oh! Oh. We actually we actually got Dante as a character. Oh. He's not good against the final boss. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, let's, well, let's look at his stats. I mean, he's level 80. He's level 80. He's got pretty good stats. Um, no, expel death and ailments, resist physical and magic. So, maybe swap out, like, Wukong? Maybe Wukong for Dante? I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Let me let me look at his skills again. The only thing he's oh there we go heavy heavy electric damage, heavy force damage. Rest in peace, Wu Kong. Uh, all right. Let yeah. Let's let's swap out let's swap out Wu Kong for a little bit. And let's summon Dante. I guess we'll try him out. Wu Kong's still my boy. I still got all the love for Wu Kong. Uh, he is the fucking man. He was the MVP a lot. Okay, at least, okay, I do at least have a map down here. Thank God for that. Uh, what a cute lad. It's rare for young men to come here. I'm about to burst. Yikes. I bet I'm nothing but an old hag to you, right? Uh, more like an old bag. <laughs> uh, no, you know what? I like my women with strange chompy mouths and they're entirely black and, uh, made my day. Here's a token of my appreciation. The demon healed you. Okay, thanks, lady. You better pay close attention or you'll get lost. Even if you think you found a dead end, make absolutely sure before you try another direction. Well, that's my advice. Choose to follow it if you wish. Okay. And there's a Dees. So you have made it to the last floor. This is where the women loyal to our master gather. You have done well in not disappointing him. But if you underestimate us, you will not live to regret it. Alright. Well, so we got two ways to go here. You're almost to the very bottom of the labyrinth. Our master is waiting there. Don't give up now. So I got two doors. I'm just gonna, I don't know. Just poke around a little bit. See. See where we go. I'm sure there's gonna be there's gonna be like mad. There's gonna be troll stuff everywhere, right? Troll doors, troll floors. Control portals. Um, Jesus, this place is. Wait, so this is dead end? No, this goes somewhere. There's a cube over here. Uh, okay, we get a bead. I guess we just gotta explore for a while. So, which way do I wanna go here exactly? I hope you love mazes. Yeah, I love mazes. <laughs> All right, Dante. Let's see what you got, my dude. Multiple hits, one enemy. Physical hides of critical, one enemy. Electric heavy damage, all enemies. Force heavy damage, all enemies. Uh... Well, let's try out. Let's try out whirlwind. Okay, that sucks. I guess these guys resist force. Uh, let's try electricity. Doesn't work that well either. Uh, okay, uh, how about preach? Not really great. Oh, we charmed one. Yeah, Lilith, get him. <laughs> oh, come on, get out of here with this. Get out of here with this shit. Uh, okay, well let's do round trip this time. Oh man, that's still not very good. Uh, not very good. I guess we'll do Terror Blade. Please know what? What's the matter? No eternal rest? Okay, there's a ladder down. I'm not gonna go that way. Just yet. Uh, I'm gonna explore more before I go down. MC fell asleep. Uh, where? Where? What and where? <laughs> Wait. Oh, come on. Fucking troll door. God damn it. Alright. I should have been paying better attention. Would have been dangerous if Nick's used eternal rest right after. Oh, uh, is that. Does it kill you if you're sleeping? Um, Alright, so that's dead end. 
I guess let's try this way. Uh, well, all right. So if Nyx has eternal rest, let's kill her first. Ah, still not that great. Let's do Terror Blade and Prayer. Oh, there we go. That was good. Right, we'll do Preach, I guess. Oh, we got a charm. And all right, Dante. Uh, go ahead. Oh, not quite enough. That's fine. Freaking Dante. Try using Rebellion? Okay. I will try that next time. Okay, that's Troll Door. Not gonna go in that one. Uh, I'm guessing this is gonna lead to Troll Door as well. Like, yeah, so this door is gonna put me back in the middle. Uh, but I have... Oh, there's a chest here. Kind of life stone. Physical, high odds of critical, one enemy. Alright, let's try it. Uh... Okay. That's not bad. Uh, alright. Let's do... Uh, I can't remember. Is Bolt Storm okay on these guys? I think so. I thought one of you was weak to electricity. Maybe not. Alright, preach. Now we got one. Uh, let's try Rebellion again, I guess. Oh, there we go. That was a nice crit. Alright. So, let's see here. We still have this way? Is there anything this way? No. Alright. So, I'm back at the start. Okay, well... I don't think I ever used Preach when I had Dice of you. I never really used it up until now. I, it's been kind of just sitting there forever, and I, was, I finally decided, like, oh, maybe I should try it out. Miss Wukong attack all. Uh, yeah. Wukong, Wukong's still the man. Yeah, Preach seems okay. Like, it does decent damage, and it hits everything, and it can give status ailments. So, it seems pretty worthwhile. Alright, so, I'm gonna go down this way this time instead. Uh, dead end. Okay. So, let's go back the other way. I need to check... Oh, wait, I can't go back the other way. God damn. Troll doors everywhere. Um, Alright, hold on. So we gotta go all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> Jesus. There we go. Uh, terribly... Not bad. And let's do a... Oh shit, I didn't want to pass. Whoops. I went I went too far. I went too far. Um screwed up. Screwed up. Alright, we can just rush now, we should be fine. So let's see here. I need to go all the way back to the beginning, and then I, I still I, I need to check the rest of that room, and make sure I didn't miss anything. And then we have this pathway over here, and then we have the ladder downwards. Oh, plus I still have that other door too, on the other side. So we still have a lot to look at, actually. So I have a lot to look at here. Hold on. Oh, I can go back this way. There we go. All right. Um, sorry. I know I, I'm I'm backtracking all over the place. The game's getting me already. They're, they're, they're trolling the shit out of me with mazes. Um, I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything, because there was a chest in that other main area. But in this one, I just want to see if there's anything else here that I didn't look at. Uh, yeah, okay, so there is a chest in here. Nowhere else to go, but there is a chest. So let me grab that, 
you obtain Balm of Rising. Alright, so now we're gonna go back to the main area again. I still have that other hallway to check. Well, let's check the other doorway first. Because we still have the door on this side to look at. Let's see where the hell this goes. Get him, Dante. Oh, yeah. Man, it does. It does crit a lot. They weren't kidding. Uh, crits a lot. Oh, there we go. One down. Uh, Alright. Preach. We still have a lot of turns left. <laughs> oh, shit. Not enough turns. Oh, well. See you, Nyx. <laughs> I didn't even notice until Dan, until you said something, how awkward it is. But it is pretty awkward. Um, okay, dead end. So wait, are these just like mirrors of each other? It kind of seems like they might be. Uh, let's see. It seems like they're kind of the same. It's really starting to look like they're going to be exactly the same. Uh, let's see. Well, either way, I gotta explore it all. Oh, uh, there's a cube down here. You obtain Chakra Drop. And we got... Let's see. I think Electric is okay here, right? Nah, it's alright. Not amazing. Oh, we got a shock on one. Get some free hits. There we go. So a Terror Blade, get another press turn. Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, we can probably just rush it now. Yep. Not bad. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I have... That's where I just came from. Yeah, this seems just like a mirror of the other side. Oh, yep. And see, so there's the ladder down again. Yeah, so I guess this is going to probably just lead me back right to the same middle section. So I probably really don't need to explore over here, actually. It doesn't seem like I need to explore over here. I guess I could just go down the... I guess I could just go down the ladder at this point. I don't think there's anything else here. So I'm just going to go down. I think we're good with this floor. Let's see what's down in the, in the basement. Alright. What do we got? We got some long, long hallways. Uh, okay, looks like we're gonna need to find a switch. The path is blocked. Okay, no, nothing this way. Nothing this way. So that leaves me with, what? Down here, I guess. Oh, there's my switch, okay. back through the door. Oh, there's another ladder there? So wait, do I want to go back down already? Or do I want to go check the other side? Because it seems like there's more of this floor. So maybe I should go down the ladder on the other side first. And check, because it looks like there is something. Or is it just the same again? I don't know. Oh, I think it is. I think it's just mirrored again. I'm not going to bother. I see another door, and there's probably just another switch on the other side, so fuck it. Let's just go down. Uh, let's see. Uh, I was hoping for a shock. Oh well. Uh, oh, these guys have counter. Shouldn't have punched him. Uh, Terror Blade. There we go. Not bad. And, oh uh, wait. Does Preach work on these guys? I can't remember. I think the big guys might be immune. Yeah, they are. Okay. Couldn't remember. See you, little guy. I feel bad beating up on the tiles. They're so small. Wow, Newey down here? Uh, what's Newey? Newey's weak to fire. 
I think the crow boys are weak to force. Nope. I could have sworn they were weak to force, but I guess not. But these guys should die quick anyway. I still get- why does Nui make a monkey noise? I always pictured Nui as like a... I don't know. Definitely not. I always pictured him as like a cat, not a monkey. I don't know why the hell he makes monkey noises. So we're down on the third floor. Uh, Alright. There's a couple doors here. Oh no. How maze-like are we getting? It appears like maybe very. I think in the Japanese mythology, he's a mixed animal, but monkey is one of the animals. Okay. Well, I mean, that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, I always picture him as like a, like a cat. Like a lion, almost, or something. I don't know. It almost looks like he has like that mane around his head, you know? Oh, wait. That's the way down. Do I want to go down already? Probably not. I want to explore a little bit first. There's Elagor. The angels cast down from heaven had no other choice but to become demons. Are we fallen ones to blame, or is it the fault of those who cast us down? I wonder what our master thinks. I'd like to ask him one of these days. So... What am I doing here? I guess, am I really just going down? I don't know, I guess we'll see. Oh, what are you? Resvugler. It's gotta be like a Norse thing, right? Look at that name. Uh, okay. You have electricity on you, so I'm going to assume electricity is no good. Uh, let's try... Force. Ah, it works okay. Uh, I guess it's a terror blade. Ah, not great. Alright, let's do Breach. Get him die, so... Not enough. Damn, they're gonna get actually all the turns. Icy boys. Oh, come on with that shit. There we go. Waste some turns. Okay. Uh, let's do another whirlwind, I guess. There we go. Knock him down. Alright, I think we can just rush. Yep. Oh, lots of experience down here. We're almost level 70. Oh, I need to look. Isn't there something I want to learn at level 71? Let me double check my Magatamas here. Uh, what do I have? I gotta double check what I have on here. Oh, I can learn Life Search at 71. I think I already have Vimana equipped though, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay, so we're gonna learn Life Search next level. Um, so wait, where am I going here? Let me check the other side, but it really doesn't seem like we're gonna... It really seems like we're not doing much down here. Oh, I should probably heal a little bit. Uh, it seems like they're... Really, we're just going down. There's really nothing here. Alright, I guess we're going down. Fair enough. Oh, wait. There's a guy to talk to here. Human or demon? Oh, one with power. Would you like me to measure the movements of your soul? Yeah, knock yourself out. Imagine you are in the mountains, and you see a human about to be attacked by a wild animal. The animal begins to maul the defenseless human. Wow, this got dark fast. As a fellow human, your heart would compel you to chase away the beast and rescue the victim. Ah, but now you're a demon. Suppose you kill the animal with your newfound strength. You crush it barehanded. The human would then fear you, since you had proven yourself more powerful than a wild animal. With your demonic strength, you can no longer be human. You are more dangerous than a wild animal. Alright. Fair enough. Okay, so back through here, and then there was the way down, I guess. Which was right... yeah, right here. Gotta recast Repel. True demon boys. I guess so. We're, we're more dangerous than a wild animal. Uh, what's up, my dude? Somewhere in here are doors that will test your demons. They test various attributes and may even kill a demon if they are inclined to do so. Some will ask for specific demons. If you want to go on ahead, be sure to bring a variety of demons with you. Okay. Uh, okay. If you wish to pass, let one brimming with light step forward. 
Uh. Okay. I did fuse Pixie. Pixie is Wukong. Everyone's been asking me about this. So, I guess this is where this happens? No, Pixie, Pixie's Wukong. Light. We fuse that Daisuju into Oncot, and then we resummon Daisuju, so Wukong is now Pixie. Uh, okay, we don't have that demon, so I guess I'll move on. Um, let's try this one. Do I have one for this door? If you wish to pass, let one of Great Magic step forward. Uh, wait, Great Magic. Uh, let me look at my demons. Well, not brother. 15 magic, 29 magic, 21 magic, 17 magic. Uh... I guess Daisuju is my highest magic. Do I want to send Daisuju through here? Anybody want to weigh in here on this one? One of great magic. Daisuju has 29. He's my highest. Alright, here we go. Your comrade's magic is admirable indeed. You may pass. Alright. Um, dead end. And we got a door. And we got another door. We got a demon door. Alright, well let's, let's check the regular door and then we'll check the demon door. Gee, you look worn out. I don't fucking think so. See you later. <laughs> See you later. Let's check this door and see if we can make it through this one. If you wish to pass, let one of great agility step forward. Uh, alright, hold on. Who has great agility? I think Wukong has pretty high agility. I guess I can't use Brother. Red Rider has 17, Daisu is 15, Dante is 25, Wukong is 23, oh, 7, 9, 9, 8, oh boy, 22, 15, 7, and 10. Um, Alright, Wukong has 23, Dante has 25. You can't use Dante. Uh, does Wukong, does Wukong have enough? Is 23 enough? Or do I need more agility to, and I'm gonna have to come back here? I guess I'll try Wukong. Your comrade's agility is admirable indeed. You may pass. Okay. Oh, man. This place is pretty weird. <laughs> this place is pretty weird. Now where the hell am I? Holy shit. This place is a fucking mess. Um, okay. So... Alright, now we got two different ways to go here. So I got... Oh, wait. That's Troll Door. I'm not going back that way. So we're going this way. Um, and then down. And so wait, that's going to be Troll Door. So I guess we're going south still. And then where does this take me? Okay, that's also Troll Door. I'm not going to go in there. What is up here? That is also a Troll Door. Okay, so I guess we're going this way. <laughs> Uh, what's up, little guy? Can you feel it? I can feel great power from this door, which leads below. Something even stronger than Beelzebub. If you choose to proceed, be careful. Um, okay, so do I want to turn around and explore the other way first? This seems like this may be... the way forward. Let someone who embodies chaos step forward? Uh... Explore more. Okay. Anyone want to weigh in on the Embodies Chaos? Do we have a demon for Embodies Chaos? Safe state. If you wish to pass, let one of Great Vitality step forward. Uh, let me see. Let me see who has high vitality. I don't have that demon either. Okay. Uh, vitality. Red Rider is 19. Dice 15. Dante. Oh, we can't. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> we can't use Dante. 
Uh, 19 vitality. 19. 12. 12. 17. 14. 21. Is 21 enough? I think it's our highest one is 21. Uh, let me try... Let me try Gog Magog, I guess. He has 21. Uh... Gog Magog. I wish they would just let me pick out of the damn list. <laughs> instead of making me scroll through them all. Um... I'm gonna try Gog Magog. He is the highest, I think, out of anybody. The door would not budge. Your comrade's vitality does not meet my expectations. Be gone. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright. So wait. Oh, no! And he killed him. Uh, okay. So we need more than... We need more than 21 for that door. He sent me all the way back to the beginning. Well, I think that was the end anyway. That was as far as we could go on that side, so that's fine. Uh, let's look around on this side. I can't go in that one. You guys said I don't have that demon. If you wish to pass, let one of great luck step forward. Uh, let me see who has the highest luck. Uh, Red Rider, 16, 14. Can't use Dante. Wukong is 18, 7, 17, 8, 6, 11, 18. Does anybody have high enough agility to- or not agility, does anyone have high enough luck to go through this door? I'm guessing probably not. If, if we do, I'll come back to that one. Uh, wait, there was another door over there, let me double check. Oh wait, that's troll door, I can't go back. I'd say don't worry about the stat doors for now. Okay, fair enough. Um, One of great strength. We might actually have great strength. Let me see. We, have, we Wukong's pretty pretty swole. Uh, Red Rider is also pretty swole. I'm guessing 26 is probably good, right? Wukong is 24. Who's May? New A. All right, I'm gonna try Red Rider. I mean, 26 seems pretty seems pretty good. I'm gonna try Red Rider on this one. Please be enough. Your comrade strength is admirable indeed. You may pass. Okay. Uh, okay. That's gonna be Troll Door. Uh, so wait, this is just like a mirror of the other side again, it seems like. That's also Troll Door. Let the one who has been with you the longest step forward. Uh, okay, wait, so is this, is this the thing where you guys are worried about Wukong being Pixie? Okay, alright Wukong, see ya. You have with you a mighty comrade, you may pass. Wukong is acting strangely. What's gonna happen to my boy Wukong? I feel this power growing inside me. Hold on to your butts. All right, I'm holding on to it. Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> Wukong is pixie again? Did I just get trolled? Did you guys just fucking troll me with this door? Did you guys just troll me with this door? What, why are you looking at me like that? I've been right here by your side from the very beginning. Um, you're not waiting for me to say my line, are you? All right, all right. I'm Pixie of the Fairy Clan. Please take care of me. So I just traded, I just traded Wukong for a Pixie. Oh, a level 80, a level 80 Pixie that has Zeodyne, Megidalon, Mediaharn, and Samara Karm. Okay. Um. All right. Wow, she's 30 in every stat. Holy shit. Okay, wait, wait, wait then. So can I use her to get through those doors? Can I use her to get through all those doors? Like all the stat doors? 
But this is the power after Wukong. <laughs> um, I now have a pixie for the stat doors. Okay. Okay. So... Alright, I guess I should go back and check the other stat doors out. Um, let's do that real quick. So I think that's, I think that's it. So I gotta go, there was one stat door over on this side. So I'm gonna go back over that way and I'll check that and then we'll go down, I guess. So, man. So I mean, is this pixie actually good? Like, do I wanna use, do I wanna use that pixie? Or is that just basically to get me through these doors? Like, do I wanna put her in the party? Oh, I gotta do this again? Fuck. Who did I send through here the first time? Was it Dice? Uh, Magic. Dice with you. Yeah, I think it was Dice with you. She's pretty good. Even though she probably thinks you're still weak and flabby. Hey, we've come a long way. We've come a long way. Brother, Brother's pretty beefy these days. Uh, okay. So, where where was I going here exactly? This way. Oh, I need to recast Repel. Um, alright. Want to create agility. Oh yeah, I can just use Pixie. I forgot about Pixie. The only thing is I gotta scroll all the way to the end of my list. Why don't they just let me pick out of the damn list? This is like... This is just dumb. <laughs> I have to sit here and scroll through each one. Oh my goodness. Where's Pixie at? She's all the way at the bottom. Jesus. There you go, Pixie. Go ahead. Comrades agility is admirable. You may pass. Okay, so we need to get all the way to the end of this, and there was a door down there that we couldn't get through before. I think we needed the strength or something. Uh... Oh, we're getting a fight. Uh, what do we got here? Barong and... Oh, this boy again. Barong always looks really weird to me. He freaks me out. Uh, I guess I'm gonna do Force again. That's alright. Um... Oh, nice crit. Okay, uh, Terror Blade. Oh, we missed the one. And I guess preach. We can kill the other doggo. Nope. Oh, we get another turn. All right, Dante, finish him off. Oh, Dante, my dude. Why you do that? There we go. All right. Uh, oh, level 71. So this should get us life surge. I'm gonna put a point into luck. And I guess we'll replace life gain with life surge. Yeah, max HP by 30%, max HP by 20%. So I'll get rid of 20% and we'll get 30%. Now we have 717 health. The mana has begun to act violently within you. Let it continue. Um, uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm, I'm way down here in the labyrinth. I really don't want to get trolled by my Magatamas right now. Because um, if I get cursed or something, I'm a long, long way from a healing room. Uh, it should be down, right? Yeah, it's gonna be control door. And then over. You want me to get rid of Avenge? Do those do those stack? Can I have life life gain and life surge at the same time? I mean, either way, either way, it's too late now. I already did it, so <laughs> I didn't realize they stacked. Do I really need that much health though? I mean, we still have 655 health. Passovers, passive stack, and SMT. Okay, because normally, like, I'm coming from Persona land, and normally in Persona, they don't ever stack. Uh, besides, like, some of the amp skills, I think, in Persona 5, I think you could stack amp and boost. I think that was it, though. Like, I know the crit passives didn't stack. 
Uh, what am I doing here? I punch the little guy. There's one. Alright. Oh, uh, wait. Preach doesn't work on these guys. Well, it's my last turn anyway. It doesn't matter. I might be able to kill the little guy. Yeah, I got the little guy at least. And let's beat this boy up. Oh, Dante! What are you doing? <laughs> what you miss? Red Rider's gonna level up again. Okay, so it should be through here, and then we had a door this way that I could not open before. And then I guess we're gonna go down after that. Just pass, I want to great vitality step forward. Just gotta scroll through our whole demon list again. Don't mind me. Just, yep, different demon, different demon, different demon, different demon, different demon. Hey, there she is. All right. Go ahead, Pixie. Get me through this whack-ass door maze. So, that's what? Is this dead end? Not quite. I'm worried this is going to be one of these... Oh, okay, that's nothing. So, we're going this way. <laughs> Select a different demon. Uh, so, oh, wait, so this was all just a big loop. This was completely pointless. This did absolutely nothing for me. <laughs> what, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Alright, so we gotta go the whole way back through the maze to get down to the damn ladder again. This game is gonna troll me with these fucking doors until the very bitter end. <laughs> until the fucking very end. Uh, wait, did I go through this one? What was this one? Oh, we didn't go through this one. The luck door. Okay. Uh, let's send Pixie in. I forgot about this one. So I guess let's at least see what's behind the luck door before we go down. Can't believe the fucking game sent me all the way back in a loop again. Trolled the shit out of me. Okay. Comrade's luck is admirable. Uh, troll door. And... Possibly not a troll door? What do we got down here first? Uh... Well, let's go in here. Let's see. Uh, there's a cube. You obtain bead. Okay. Um... Okay, I guess that's it for here. Let's go through that other door. Yeah, let's go through this one over here. Let's see where this puts us out at. Uh, what do we got? Oh, another stat door. Okay. Let one whose soul is black step forward? Uh, one whose soul is black. Is that like a fiend? Can I send a fiend through there or what? That's, that's the first thing that would come to mind when I think of a demon with a black soul. Uh, oh, and that's a troll door, so that's a loot. Red Rider? I'll try it. That's I kind of figured I was thinking like a fiend. Maybe it's Black Rider. Maybe, the, maybe they want specific. I don't have Black Rider, but I'll try red. Uh, the door would not budge. This is not the one I seek. Be gone. Okay. Nope. And Red Rider is dead. Okay, I guess we are not doing that one right now. We'll uh, we'll come back to that, maybe. Okay, so I guess we're heading down. I think that's it for this floor for right now. I think that's all we can do at the moment. Oh god damn it! Not again. It's fucking these doors are so annoying. These doors are so goddamn annoying. Like, once you open it once, you should be able to just go back through without having to pick the demon. Just, just my, just my opinion. It's really annoying scrolling through the list here. Uh... It's just like 30 seconds every time that I don't need to spend doing this. Um... One more. Jesus. Alright, there we go. That should be the last stat door that we have to go through, I think. I just gotta get back through here, and then we can head down. 
I might save state here just because we are we've been doing this for a while and I haven't hit a save room in a while. I just wanna yeah, you know what, I'm gonna save state real quick. Just in case anything bad happens. We've only had two emulator crashes this whole play session. Knock on wood. But if we have an emulator crash or something now, I'm gonna have to go through all of this again. So I I definitely don't wanna have to go through this again. So let's uh cheat a little bit. Okay, it should be straight, and then straight, and then... Okay, I think I'm good. And then over. Yep, okay. Oh, uh, what do we got? More of these boys. And Terror Blade, I think, worked pretty good. They dodge, that sucks. I will still be able to waste some turns. Uh, I guess I'll do Whirlwind again. And Terror Blade and Breach, hopefully. Fuck, they dodged again! Jesus. Oh, uh, we can fuse one at least. God damn. Having, uh, having horrible luck this fight. Having really bad luck here. Alright, Dante, can you finish these guys off? Give me a little more wins. There we go. Holy hell. That took a lot longer than I, I thought it would take. <laughs> Red Rider is 65. Strength increased by 1. Uh, I'm not gonna let you change the skill. You're just gonna fuck your skill set up. Sorry, dude. Uh, yeah, I, I there's nothing he could change the skills to that I think would be better than what he currently has, so... <laughs> I'm not gonna let him ruin himself. Sorry, Red. Alright, so it should be here, and then this door, and then we're down to the fifth floor. To recast Repel. Whoops. Wrong one. Okay. So, we're going down. Alright. What's up, soul boy? Gee, you look worn out. I don't think so. See ya. They're really trying to punk me with this. They really want me to freaking get warped all the way back to the entrance. You sense a strong power from beyond the door where you enter. Uh... Okay, I am, I am gonna save state. I am gonna save state. Um... I am going to save state. Good call. Because I don't want to have to come all the way back down here if we if there's a boss and we die. So... Oh, uh, look MP. Oh, Dante was kind of low, but whatever. We'll use Dante's physical skills. He'll be alright. Brother. I can see by the darkness in your soul that you have chosen to disregard my warning. Uh, okay. You are beyond the point of redemption. I cannot turn a blind eye to the fallen angel's abominable plan to foster the birth of a new demon. Whoa. Delivering the candelabra to the labyrinth of Amala is just as grave a sin. Listen, fiend, foul demon whose soul is tainted with darkness. Ah, oh, it's Metatron. Listen and tremble in fear. I am Metatron. I am one with God. By his will, I shall destroy you. Feel the wrath of God, disciple of darkness. Maybe you're gonna feel the wrath of darkness, disciple of God. Uh. Okay. Guess we're gonna do a little boss fight here. Face my judgment, accursed spirit. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do my normal thing that I always do, which is gonna be. Uh. I'm gonna try my debuffs. Get him, Dante. Dante, ooh. Okay, it looks like he resists physical. Um, it looks like he resists physical. Here come the debuffs. Uh, Red, you can do... Let's try Bolt Storm. Oh, that sucks. Damn, does this guy... Does this guy fucking resist everything? Jesus. Use Provoke, okay. I'll use Provoke. 
Wait, doesn't this make the, doesn't this make his attack stronger? Lowers, lowers defense, raises physical attack, heals MP. Uh, why would I want to raise his attack though? That sounds bad. I mean, I'll do it. We save state it anyway. Whatever. Oh, that's just that's just for Dante. I see. I see. It raises Dante's attack. Okay, I, I see now. I'm good. I thought that was gonna I thought that was gonna go on the boss. But I see what you're saying now. I gotcha. Um, I think I'm still just gonna do rebellion again. See if I can get another crit. Yeah, I get you now. I, I get you. I, I didn't realize what I, I didn't realize what was going on there. Uh, all right, another fog breath. We need to heal this turn. This feels like this. This feels like like a like a Final Fantasy VI song. It reminds me of like SNES Final Fantasy music for whatever reason. Okay, uh, Bolt Storm sucked. I'm gonna try Wind Cutter instead. Bolt Storm was really bad. Okay, Wind Cutter's a little bit better. And we need to we need to heal. Oh, Daisu needs MP badly. Daisu needs MP very badly. Uh, I'm gonna do another Rebellion. Maybe we can get another crit. Let brother go. Nice, real nice. Okay, I'm gonna f focus. Actually, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Daisu some MP. Uh, I'm gonna give Daisu a whole bunch of MP. I don't understand how Law could be the worst alignment but have the best theme. Oh, that was a nice dodge. I'm liking this rebellion. It's getting me a lot of press turns. That that extra crit chance. Um, Okay, so we need Wind Cutter. And we need another War Cry on this boy. I didn't do War Cry again yet. There we go. Oh, well, he has the Kunda. Okay. Damn, that fucking hurts. That fucking hurts a lot. I probably should have brought in something. I'm guessing that's an Expel. I'm guessing I probably should have brought a Null Expel Magatama. But I didn't. So we'll just have to deal with it. Maybe we can still win the fight. We'll just have to see. Uh, I'm already focused, I believe. I should be good to go for a divine shot. Come on, brother. Give him the business. Eh, that's alright. Not huge, but okay. Uh, wind cutter. We're gonna have to heal again. Just to get brother topped off. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to heal again. Alright, maybe I can get a Rebellion crit. Nope. Okay. Oh well. Oh, here comes the almighty damage. Oh yeah. That doesn't really actually hurt that bad, all things considered. Uh, it could be worse. Come on, Dante. I need some crits here, my dude. Uh, I should have done a Fog Breath. I should have done a Fog Breath. Oh well. Uh, wind cutter, and we're gonna heal. Just gonna be slow and steady. We're not doing a ton of damage again here, so we're just gonna have to. Oh, Hama. Oh man, I definitely should have brought a null expel. <laughs> I really should have brought a null expel. But that's why we. That's why we save state it, I guess. Okay, I'm already focused, right? Yeah. All right, let's do another divine shot. Oh, there we go. That was a good crit. Okay, Wind Cutter. I need to leech some FPs. I'd like to do a Fog Breath or a War Cry. Uh, maybe I'll do a War Cry. I'll do a War Cry. Let's soften him up a little bit. So hopefully he won't hit us quite as hard next time. I mean, I get it. He has Daekunda. But it was the same thing. Like, even with, uh... Even with Daekunda on Belzebub... Oh, he's a lot more aggressive with this, it seems like. Like, Belzebub, I had him debuffed for a lot of the fight, and he still wasn't cleansing him, so I was kind of hoping I could pull it off again here, but it doesn't seem like he's going to be. It seems like he's a lot more aggressive with the Dekundas, so I guess we're not going to be debuffing him anymore. Uh, Wind Cutter, I'm going to leech some MP. I think we'll be okay. Provoke when you already have focus. Uh, 
Uh... Oh, and then... Wait. So does Provoke lower... Does Provoke lower Metatron's defense? I'm still confused what Provoke does. I'm, I guess I'm not reading the... I guess I'm not reading the tooltip right. You dare oppose me, demon? Then I shall crush you with my full strength. Oh, good. Oh, good. Magic improved. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay, that hurts. That hurts a little. So, alright, let me read this. All enemies. Lowers defense, raises physical attack, user heals MP. I see. I see. I see. Well, I think we focused last time, didn't we? So let me try this again. Uh, am I focused? Yeah, alright. Let me do it. Oh, there we go. That was a nice hit. That was a nice hit. Okay. Good call, my dudes. Good call. Uh, let's do Wind Cutter. We need to heal again. Real bad. Uh, we're, gonna, uh, we're okay on MP for now. Oh, we have another turn. Um, Alright, I'm going to do a Rebellion. See if we can get another crit, maybe. There we go. Nice crit. Nice crit. Okay, I'm going to focus, brother, and then we'll do the same thing next turn, I guess. We'll do the old, uh, the old Provoke. Razzle Dazzle. Physical attacks improved. Yikes, he's hitting like a fucking truck now, though. Um, he's hitting pretty hard. He's hitting pretty hard. I think I'm going to have to do a war cry on this boy. He's hitting pretty hard right now. Uh, I gotta get this physical and magic down, because he has, he has Maka Kaja up too. I'm gonna do a war cry this turn, unfortunately. He's hitting way too hard. He's hitting way too hard. He hit Daisu for like 250 on a regular attack. So I'm worried we're gonna get wrecked here. I'm gonna have to heal again. Need MP next turn, badly. Need MP real bad. Ah, there's Dekunda. Alright, um, do I want to do another Provoke? I don't know. Provoke seems kind of risky, I have to say. Um, Provoke's risky, because it makes him hit. If he does physicals, it makes him hit like a truck. So I'm a little concerned about it, about doing that. I think I'm already focused, right? Yeah. Divine Shot, here we go. Uh, Alright, Wind Cutter. I need MP. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna get MP. Hopefully we're not gonna die this turn. I think everybody still has enough health. Um I could maybe get another turn if I do rebellion and get a crit. Let's see. There we go, that was good. That was real good. Um Alright, I'm gonna do. You know what? I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna use a beat chain. Just might as well. We have all these items. We might as well play it safe. Oh man, he's gonna buff his magic again. Holy fuck, that hurts. Okay, so yeah, we definitely we need to keep doing War Cry. Then she uses Dice for Kunda very often. No, because unfortunately with Dice I'm pretty much always in the cycle of either leeching MP or healing. So no, Daisu almost never gets to cast Rakunda. Um, because it's like I'm always trying to use him to keep the party topped off. I'm always basically either managing MP or healing. So we don't get to use Rakunda very often, unfortunately. Um, Alright, I'm already focused, I think, right? Nope, I'm not focused. Uh, wind Cutter and then the heal. Oh, I should have done a war cry instead of a focus. We need to get this guy. We need to get his magic lowered again. He's hitting hard. He's hitting real hard. I forgot about that. Oh, brother! There you go. Oh, we'll debilitate. Well, we have Dekaja, so we can fix that with uh, Red Rider, actually. Or not Dekaja. We have Dekunda. Sorry. Um. I'm gonna war cry. He's, his his attack and his magic is getting high. And 
and let's get rid of this Dekunda. And then we will... We're gonna leech, and then Dante's gonna go again. Oh yeah, Dante has Holy Star. I forgot about Holy Star. Good, uh, good call. Let's see if we can get another crit, maybe. Nice. Alright, um... Divine Shot? It's gonna put us at like 400 health. That's gonna be kind of risky. Ah, fuck it. Let's go. Cool. Please don't kill me. Jesus. All right. Whew. Um. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do? I think I'm just going to stick with Rebellion. I really, I mean, I know you guys keep saying Provoke. I just, Provoke makes me really nervous because it makes his physical attacks hit so much harder. Um, I'm not huge on, I'm not huge on doing Provoke right now just because he hits really hard with it up. So, I'm, I don't know. I, I might not do any more Provokes, honestly. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we need to heal again. Badly. Oh, gosh. This is going to be a long fight, I think. Oh, there we go. All the debuffs gone. Okay. Uh, brother is almost at MP. Uh, am I focused? No. Alright, just better focus. And Wind Cutter. I think we can leech MP. I think we can survive this turn. I'm gonna keep Daisu topped off. Uh, we have one turn left. Uh, well, let's see if we can. Let's see if we. Let's go fishing for a crit. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll maybe get lucky. Nope, no crit. All right, please don't kill me. Lord, give me the strength to vanquish the spirit of evil. Debilitate again. That sucks. Fire of Sinai? That sounds bad. Cool. Okay. That wasn't horrible. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, I guess. Uh, Alright, Dante. You can do a Holy Star this time. And we're already focused. Yeah, I mean, we're going to heal this turn. I'll do a Divine Shot. Uh, Wind Cutter. Man, Daisu to heal me up, my dude. Okay, let's get the prayer rolling here. Oh, man, that hurts. That fucking hurts! Please stop doing these big spells on me, my dude. Yikes, that really hurts. That fucking hurts. Uh, alright. Rebellion. Maybe we can get a crit. Nope, no crit. Uh, are we focused? We are not. <sighs> Alright, Wind Cutter and Heal again. He is shitting the damage out right now. He is putting the hurt on us. Hard. Jesus. Uh, another debilitate. Come on, man. Uh, all right. Uh, you know what? I'll do Holy Star. Let's see if we can get rid of it. We'll get rid of the debilitate. Already focused. To the divine shot. Uh, we need to get MP this turn. For Daisu, I'll keep it topped off. This is a long fight. This is a really long fight. I'm not sure how long we've been in here, but it feels like we've been in here forever. Oh shit, Red Rider's gonna die. Oh my gosh. Alright, uh, this is horrifying. Uh, Alright, focus. Red Cutter again and then heal, I guess. Oh man, the damage is getting crazy. He's just, he's hitting, he's hitting really hard. He's hitting really hard. 
Oh, magic buffs. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're gonna need to do a war cry again. Oh, brother's almost out of MP. Brother doesn't have enough MP for a war cry. Uh, okay. I'm gonna give brother some MP back so he can keep doing war cry. I don't want to let his magic get out of hand. Because it's... It's gonna be bad if it does. Uh, Alright, brother. Get your MP topped off. And wind cutter. Heal. Uh, I guess we can go fishing for a crit. Might as well try it. No, no crit. Oh, I gotta get a war cry on this guy this turn. This is fucking ridiculous. I definitely gotta get a war cry going here. This magic is getting pretty large. There we go. That was good. Uh, war cry. Man, Daisuji was almost at MP again. Uh... Alright, well... Yeah, we need to heal. But we need to get MP next turn. Uh, maybe I can get another crit. Give me a crit. Come on, Dante. Perfect, okay. Um, am I already focused? I am. You know what? I'm actually. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use another MP on Daisuju. I think instead. I'm just gonna take it slow and steady. Slow and steady. Very slow. Oh man, that is pretty brutal. Very slow. Uh. I'm gonna attack. Come on, brother, get him. Damn, how much fucking health does this guy have? I feel like I've been in this fight for like... I don't know, it's been a while. It's been a freaking while. I can tell you that much. Oh man, this had to have been at least 15 minutes at this point. Yep, that hurts. That hurts me. Uh, physical attacks improved. Okay, we need to do a war cry this turn. Uh, we need to get this guy to deep up a little. I don't want to let us. I don't want to let him get his attack too high. Oh man, we're almost out of MP for Wind Cutter. He has the same HP as Belzebub. Oh boy. All right. Well, fair enough. Uh, we could probably make it another turn. I'm gonna meditate. With the war cry up, this shouldn't be too, too bad, right? Okay, yeah, that's not bad. That's pretty manageable. We'll hope next turn we'll be in good shape. Give me them crits, Dante. Uh, no crits, huh? Am I focused? No. Yikes. Uh, alright, wind cutter. This is my last wind cutter. 16,000 fucking health. Yikes. Well, we're gonna be here a while. I don't know how far we've gotten them at this point. Fuck, debilitate. Oh, that's not good. Ugh. Okay, let's do Holy Star. I guess we're gonna attack. I mean, I gotta start doing some damage here. This fight is gonna go on forever. At the rate we're going here. Um, he's almost dead, it seems. Okay, if you think so. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna pass. And I think I'm gonna heal, and then I'll let Dante go again. I'm gonna heal. I'm getting paranoid. Getting paranoid. Um, maybe I can fish for a crit. Is he droopy? I didn't notice. Am I focused already? Nope. I guess I wasn't paying enough attention to what was going on. Oh, here we go. Magic buffs again. Oh, 
please don't beat me up too bad. Alright, that wasn't horrible. We can we can deal with that. Alright, Dante, give me some crits. That was nice. Alright, brother. Give me a give me a give me a crit here. Huh? Give me a big boy hit. Missed! No! No, that's not what I wanted at all, brother. Um Alright. Alright, I'm gonna war cry. And we'll heal next turn, I think. Uh man, I can't believe I, I missed on a fucking focused attack. That sucks. That really sucks. That really sucks. That really sucks. Not super thrilled about that. Oh shit. Well, I'm glad I did the war cry, because he just did another fucking magic boost. <laughs> so I'm really glad I did the war cry. That could have been bad. Uh, Alright, Rebellion. Give me a crit. There we go, that's good. Alright, brother, don't fuck up this time, huh? Give me a big hit. Hey! There it is! Got him! Wow. That was a little stressful. That was a little stressful. I, uh... I don't know, that was rough. That was rough. We were just doing shit damage. We were doing shit damage there. It just felt like it took four fucking ever. Man, that was rough. Uh, I'm gonna save state really quick, just in case anything bad happens. I don't want to do that fight again. Definitely do not want to do that fight again. Damn. That was rough. That was really rough. Uh, so what the fuck now? Is this it? Are we done? That's gotta be the end of this Culper, right? <laughs> uh, is there really more? Wait a wait, 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 wait a minute. This is from the very beginning of the game. I remember this. Dr. Dark was right here. Uh, I remember this. I definitely remember this. We walked through this hallway in the very, very beginning of the game when we were leaving the hospital. Yes, okay. Yeah, I remember this. 100%. Um, I don't remember which way to go, but I remember this. Well, let me see. What was over here? Wasn't there like a cube over here? Oh, there's a soul over here. Let's see. What's up? What are you doing all the way down here? At our master's request, I've been waiting for you. Yours is an existence unbound by this world, and for that reason, you have infinite potential. Will the battle with God occur as our master wishes, or will we forever remain in waiting while history repeats itself? I've thought about this at great length. May I ask you a question? Alright. Very well. It is true that all living things must perish. Bound by the invisible threads of fate, humans die tragic deaths. Does that seem fair to you? If you lost a loved one in a horrible accident, would you curse God? There's no need to answer. But if you feel that fate has cheated you, then go and see our master. Yes, the long frozen time shall flow again towards the final battle. Okay. got. Okay. Ride the lift of the abyss. Sounds sounds pretty safe. Sure, we'll ride the we'll ride the lift of the abyss. What could possibly go wrong? So no more peephole. We're actually straight up. We're in the... We're right at the... Uh, right at the... The stage, I guess. I don't know what else you would say. Now your ending is locked. Okay. But this is what I mean. You guys said this is the good ending, right? So, I mean, we, we this is good. We want this ending. But we still have to finish the final dungeon, right? We didn't just finish the game. Because you guys keep saying canon ending time. So wait. Is it over? We didn't just finish the game, did we? 
You are here at last. We have long awaited this moment in the everlasting flow of Amala. You have retrieved all of the candelabrum, all the candelabra, and have triumphed over the mightiest warrior of light. You are the demon that we have been waiting for. Brother, brother, brother. <laughs> Did you hear that, brother? All of the demons are celebrating the birth of the new demon of darkness, hoping that you and the fallen angel will break the chains and defeat the absolute one. There is no turning back. We, the ones cast into darkness, shall face those that live in the light. The final battle is about to begin, but first, you must return to your world and increase your strength. By defeating the humans who are vying for control of creation and Kagatsuchi, the source of creation. Okay, so not over yet. Not over yet. A man who envisions a world of silence. Ahriman, god of the void, lends him strength. A young woman who values power above all else. The god Ball Avatar has descended upon her. I still really like the design of Ball Avatar. It's my favorite. A young man yearning to live in solitude. His strength comes from Noah, the wandering god. And Kagatsuchi, the light that watches over the vortex world as well as creation. It's a true demon ending hype. When you've defeated those foes, you will be accepted and honored by us all. My master would like to help you prepare for the forthcoming battles by sharing a portion of his power. He shall release the hidden power of the Magatama that you have received. You, who have cast away your human form and as a fiend, conquered all deaths. You were given the body of a demon when you entered the Vortex world. And now it is time for you to receive the heart of a demon, as my master wishes. You shall be born again as a demon of chaos, harbinger of the final battle. May you prevail, our strength, our hope. I was hoping maybe they'd give him a shirt, finally. But I guess not. Whew, okay. Holy shit. And now we're back at the hospital. Go to where Kagatsuchi awaits. Show me the beginning. The voice can no longer be heard. Okay. Uh, okay. We're back in the hospital. The thing on his neck would tear any shirt he wears. Yeah, that is true. I didn't think about that. Um, time to think of it. You were born in the room of the head, weren't you? Now you've been born a second time. So, so he said he was going to lend us a portion of his power. Are we any more powerful? I don't think so. I think our stats are all the same. Uh, all right. Do I need to do? Do I need to do anything here in the hospital right now, or can we leave the hospital? Equip your first Magatama. Okay, uh, I will. Let me... Let me see here. My first Magatama. Uh... I mean, it still pretty much looks the same. It's still, like, the... The stats are not very good. It still only has like two strength and stuff on it. Uh. Oh. Is it Pierce? Did we not have Pierce before? Oh, was that there was that ability that was a question mark, right? 
Is that what that is then? So that's so that's what it was. We unlocked the ability. Uh, okay. Pierce is one of the best skills in the game. All right. Hi, Pupper. Um. Okay. Well, then I guess we'll learn Pierce next level. How close am I to leveling up anyway? Uh, pretty close. Okay, so... Do we need to do anything at the hospital or not? Do I need to... Or is, was that it? Now that we got the, the Pierce thing unlocked. Your attacks go through everything except repel. Oh, that does sound pretty good. So, no weaknesses at all, then. Or not weaknesses, sorry. But, like, so... We we can go through enemies' weaknesses. I gotcha. Okay. Um... Whew, that was crazy. Holy shit. Ugh. Okay, well, I think... This is probably where I should stop for the day. I don't have a ton more time. I don't want to get... I know you guys said we have the last dungeon left. I don't want to start that now because we're not going to be able to finish it. But hopefully tomorrow... I think we're actually going to get two streams tomorrow. I think there's actually going to be the normal, like, the afternoon stream. And I think there's also going to be an evening stream. So we might actually maybe finish Nocturne tomorrow. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, I think I'm going to stop here because I don't have a ton of time. So... Uh, yeah. Okay, so check back tomorrow, and we, we might be finishing Nocturne. So, thanks for watching, guys. I will, I will see you tomorrow.